Today we're going to be installing the GB210 quart and a half sump. This is from Jeanberg Enterprise. Obviously, part number GB210. Got all the parts laid out here. They give you all the gaskets you need. This is the mounting hardware for sump to case. They give you the studs to set up your new sump plate at the bottom and your hardware for mounting those studs stationary. And then, like with every Berg order, you get your Zots. Tools we're using for this. We're gonna have some uh, Loctite. We're gonna have some 1211 sealant. I use a 90 degree hook for removing the screen if your car has a screen on it. We got a 10 millimeter here for taking your sump plate off. And I got a couple variations because of the actual drain plug. You gotta drain your little first. I have them all here, 21, 17, and 19. Those are your three most common ones there. I got a set of calipers that I'm gonna be measuring the depth of my stud that's on the existing case. And we're gonna transfer that to the sump plate. All right, let's get to it. You get instructions for a reason. Make sure you read through them thoroughly before you actually start your install. That way you know if you have everything needed to get the job done. So normally I will leave my sump open for a few hours. Just let it drain every bit of oil you possibly can out of there into my oil catch. And what this is gonna allow you is to not fight the oil the entire time that you're installing the new sump on because these trails will just keep coming and coming. You'll see, I come by periodically and wipe it down and I work on something else. The first step of these instructions is to clean your sump and clean your pickup tube. So we have that to do while that sump dries up for us. So I've got the advantage of a solvent tank here. I'm gonna clean the cosling off of that and give this a thorough washing on the inside. If you don't have a solvent tank, what you do is you get yourself some simple green and a five gallon bucket, and you make yourself your own little solvent tank and just wash it up real well. These parts are not filthy, they're brand new. You're just trying to get anything out of them that could potentially be a foreign object in your oil system. We've got our sump cleaned and our pickup tube cleaned, all the cosling gone from the inside and the outside. You make sure you check the inside of that sucker too. And we're just gonna let it sit here. I got a small little rack it's sitting on right now. We're gonna sit there and drain out for a while while we do a couple other things. And then we're gonna rinse it off with an actual simple green wash to make sure we get all the solvent off of it. We've got our sump and our pickup tube cleaned up. I'm gonna blow that one off the air compressor here in a minute. And as you see, it's still dripping, still draining. So let's get on some of this one. I'm spraying brake cleaner in this area. Just to get as much surface grease off as possible. We're gonna come in and detail clean all of this here. No old sealant will be left here when we go to put the new one on. So a couple things we're gonna do right now is we're gonna measure the height of that to set it up in our new sump. And we're also gonna start setting up the install of the pickup tube here. just took off of my sump on the motor and I'm going to transfer it over this so I write it down so it doesn't get forgotten 14.11 right there and now we're going to set these studs all to 14.11 in height
So we've set our studs at a determined height. We got our number off of the original case. To know how big they need to be. You can see that there is a little bit of stud sticking through there. And each one of those is gonna get a finish nut on it. It needs to lock that stud into place permanently. And you're gonna do that with some Loctite and make sure that you get it tight on there. As you can see, I got the nuts on there. We're gonna double check our height one more time before we lock those in place. And I'm doing that just by putting the tool over it, making sure that we're good. I'm happy with that, so we're gonna lock those uh, locking nuts in place. Okay, so we need to install the pickup tube extension that's provided by Berg. And you can see it's cut at an angle right there. And this longer side, they want facing towards the flywheel. And if you're not aware of that, your flywheel is where the transmission and motor meet. So they want the long part facing back that direction. It's gonna slip onto that tube right there and they get locked into place with that clamp. They prefer if you braze it, but I don't braze them on unless this thing is out of the car and I got the case half in my hand. Otherwise, we're gonna clamp them on. Notice all that oil still. This thing has been off for hours. Okay, so we got that on there. Basically slipped over the pickup tube and you see it does have a clamp there. You get a quarter inch box in and I can turn that that switch. So I've already tightened it down on here. You make sure that sucker's there. It ain't going anywhere. We're good to go. I'll start putting that sump onto the engine. Okay, before we stick the two together, because we're gonna put one paper gasket here with some 1211. 1211 is our sealant, and we're gonna use one of these supplied gaskets here at the base. I clean everything here and here this surface here with denatured alcohol. Now I put this rag inside here that we'll take out once the sump was actually in place. I put that rag there and what that does is it mitigates the oil dripping out of here while we're working on it. Gives us a longer window of time to work with before any oil could potentially get in between the sump and the sealant. Um, if you give it uh, an escape route now, it's gonna keep that escape route. So if this is oily here, and you put that new sump on, guess what? You have a leak right there. So I stuff a rag in there to stop any oil from coming down. We're gonna give this a good denatured alcohol cleaning, and then we're gonna put the two together. So I have denatured alcohol in this sprayer. So you can see even after I've cleaned it, there's still a little something on there. Most likely from while I was putting those studs on. But just when you think it's clean, that just shows you you're not 100% clean. These are Berg specific bolts here. They're shouldered and that washer fits over. You can see that one I've put together. It's a little bit of a tight fit. You do have to put them on there fairly, uh, you, gotta, you gotta tap a little bit. If they don't go on, you can hit them on with the socket, but so far I haven't had to do that as of yet. But that collar or shoulder indexes into this here and it helps hold this sucker in place and you don't have to change out your studs like you do on most sumps. I really like this. I have this exact sump on my bus and my bus sits pretty low. It sits pretty low and it's still clear so I've never hit my sump on the ground that I'm aware of.
couple of things to notice. There's like a sharp side of a washer and a rounded side. I like to keep the rounded side exposed to make sure that my flat, sharp edge is what's on the mating surface. And that's with all washers in all applications. There we go. We have our nuts in place. This is the 1211 triple bond. So when I apply it, I basically put on one side, rub it in, make sure we get even coverage all the way around on that. There's no bare cardboard areas. Let's put a little bit more on the back side. Nothing crazy. I don't want it gooping everywhere. I want a paper thin layer onto my gasket material. You'll see even with that paper thin layer, it still squishes out the sides of it. All right, so we got that one ready to go in. Our sump has been denatured and our engine has been denatured. So now we're gonna make the two together. Got 1211 on my sump. I've got 1211 and the gasket on the engine. Notice the rags and the paper towel stuff in there, they will be removed after I get the sump in place there to mitigate the oil. inside there those are the 11 millimeter 7 16 stepped nuts that hold this up into place my rag and my paper towel is still in there and we will be pulling it out now that I have this thing tightened into place so I'm looking for that squish you see right there that little bit of silicone coming through and I see it all the way around so I know I've got good compression between the sump and the case. 